the move to the cloud, a massive, massive trend, and, and everything is going is going into the cloud. Uh, data infrastructure we see as the next gold rush. Uh, data is again has become the most valuable uh, currency in, in the world. AI is growing very fast. Uh, three years ago, um, it was still something of a new concept. It's now fundamental, and you're seeing machine learning being adopted across the board in, in, in applications. You know, the volume of deals getting done in the UK and the amount of capital available to, uh, to invest uh, is very encouraging uh, post-Brexit. I think the most important thing, though, is that the UK has now created critical mass in a fast-growing technology sector. And that just wasn't true when we started 20 years ago. The market is transformed. As beneficiaries of uh, companies in terms of the sectors during COVID and remain so today, wellness, particularly if you're doing stuff like online yoga, Peloton, consumer staples, uh, sustainable and ESG investments, very much in vogue, cloud and digital infrastructure. We've seen the rise of, of Zoom, uh, e-commerce, let's look at the rise of Amazon. Uh, and then you kind of have the watch list where you've got things like repair and maintenance, telecoms, logistics, facility-based healthcare, manufacturing, which can't work from home, decimation in oil and gas, leisure, travel and entertainment, brick and mortar retail as high streets have closed, portfolio companies we invest in uh, along various ESG. It's very much evolution rather than revolution. Uh, but I would say that if you're not uh, focused on ESG and if you're not building the impact of ESG over time into your investment decisions today, it's, it will hurt you in the next two, three, four years, not just from a social PR moral stance, but also from a commercial stance. I think if you ignore sustainability risk in your investments, you're not doing your job as a fiduciary investor. In the future, we'll see more priorities on efficient robotic processes and longer term uh, DLT, so distributed ledger technology and blockchain. Expect public policy to drive investment in the transition to a low carbon future and to a more digitalized economy. Remember that the financing of all of this does not come from governments alone. Investments from the private sector are key. So as the sector grows, you'll see the same needs coming through on the private on private capital markets, incorporation of ESG and better access to digital technology, including data analytics. And all of this requires a huge access to talent and also, by the way, a driver for diversity and inclusion. So that's your opportunity. That's the challenge, because one of the things the EU is concerned about is the concentration of financial expertise in London, which is not the case for other cities in the EU. So I think London, London will still have a very important role to play. And by the way, it's, it's much more important to be integrated and doing things together than, than working on silos. So the fact that London remains as a bit of competition in a near European time zone, I think is a good thing for, for everybody. It'll make things in the EU probably happen faster.